Hi, this is Ray at My Service Depot. In this clip, I'd like to take a look at a few of our favorite tips and tricks on the Smart Service Scheduling tab. Opening up our Scheduling tab, one of the first things that you can do is use a combination of your Smart Pane, which we can open here, and the keys on your computer's keyboard and mouse to select particular days that you'd like to view together. What we're seeing right now is our smart pane open. We're seeing a route view of one employee and we currently have a one day display. You can choose a one, five, seven, or 31 day view here in the upper left hand corner. If I would like to see two non-consecutive days, I can hold down the control key on my keyboard and then choose that date off of the calendar in the smart pane. We can now see the 18th and 25th of July displayed together. I can then hold the control key again and select an additional date from August, August 9th. We can see is now displayed on the calendar. You can use this to click and drag a job across multiple days that are non-consecutive. For example, I can schedule this Arthur Sackler service job for the 9th of August by clicking and dragging. Another useful tool is the ability to select consecutive days. Let's go back to a single day view focused on today. I can then choose to see the next two or three days by holding my shift key and selecting the last date in the range that I'd like to view. Now I have the 18th through the 21st. Now you can also make some changes based not only on the days that you're going to see but also on the people that we're going to see. Right now we're in a route view. I'm going to change this to a department view and I'm going to look at all of my departments. Now this is a really long list but I can choose this filter option to select those individuals who I would like to see out of this list. Hitting the filter at the bottom of the list I now have these four particular employees from different departments selected on the same view of the scheduler. I can also use this trick within a single department, like my maintenance department. By clicking on the filter icon here, I can use the check to check all or uncheck all, and I can add particular individuals from the department. There's an individual labeled unassigned maintenance. You may find that if a job has a tentative date and a tentative time, but you're not quite sure what your staffing levels will be, instead of placing it on the waiting list overall, you'd like to have that unassigned in a particular department. If we hit the drop down here, we can see I have unassigned maintenance. You can add an individual user of this kind to any department. That's going to start out on our Home tab. We'll head into our Employees, and we're going to select New User. If you'll have more than one unassigned user, you might want to add that information about the department into the login ID or into the name. So I can add unassigned sales, for example, in both the user ID and the name. The department I would add this to, Sales. And you really don't have to provide any permissions or other information since this is for scheduling purposes only. If I return to my scheduler and I go to my Sales Department, you can now see I have a column labeled Unassigned Sales. Now that we've taken a look at how to customize the view of our days, our departments, and how to add unassigned users or employees onto the schedule, let's take a look at how to use colors to our advantage on the schedule. I'm actually going to head to my maintenance department and let's look at today in a one day view. I'm going to close the smart pane so we can focus on the work that's been scheduled for today. Here at the top of the screen we have a color option. Custom allows you to set your own colors by right clicking on the job and using this set color option. This information is also found inside of the scheduling tab of your job. 
We can also use information found in each of these job records to work to our advantage using color coding on the schedule. For example, we can choose to see these by the zip code or service zip code in which this job will be found. Click on this shortcut here, we can see the color key displayed over to the right hand side. This is going to tell us exactly what color corresponds to which service zip code. We also have the ability to see this by job type. We can also see class or state. You can look at your customer type. You can then also see locations or map codes. Those are fields that you can designate yourself on the general information tab of each job. And we can also see our timestamps. Timestamps are going to be especially useful to those companies using our mobile application, iFleet. As your technicians add their job timestamps, we see this information reflected here uh, on the scheduler itself. Now, if you're not working with our mobile application, you can still use these timestamps to your advantage. You can right click on any job, use the time option, and you may add a timestamp that this technician has reported by phone or text that they're en route to the job. You can use the time pickers as well to set a time other than the current time. Once you save, we should see the scheduler information update. You can click on your refresh option here as well. As we right click and we add our timestamps, again the information is going to update. So here we can see that this travel start has been added. We can then add other timestamps. So you certainly don't have to receive this information um, from our mobile application iFleet. For more how-tos, read our blog at smartservice.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.